Why, hello there, bards and barbarians alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy. Oh, man. That not, may not be the last time I ever say that, but... I uh, won't be hearing that as much. Because I've got some new content coming up, as some of you, most of you perhaps, have already heard due to my last few videos. And I'm going to try to post every single day. So, um, that'll be exciting. And if you guys like what you see and you want to help out the channel, just share it with your friends and family and loved ones and most hated enemies. Especially if you, if you don't like it, then just share it with your most hated enemies. That way we both, we'll both benefit. And so I just wiped it off. That's what that was. Alright, cool. So I'm going to, I just decided, you know what, I've been having a busy week, I've been making a lot of changes. Um, so I'm just going to kind of have fun and uh, let me go down to the chat here. So when, you, when and if you guys pop in, I shall be aware. What? The command tent? It doesn't even, look at this mysterious dude, zero watching. And yet, and yet this. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, glory be to you, the command tent. All right, let's start drawing some stuff. Dude, this is real. Is this happening? You caught it live, man. You caught it live. <laughs> Congratulate. <laughs> I should be. I'm the one to be congratulated. All right, look. So I wanted to show you guys two things. Just a sneak preview of some things I'm going to talk about in this live stream today. Um, there's this drawer that we moved from storage into my, my little place, and I found two interesting things. One of them is this, this notebook that I didn't write. No one wrote it from my family. I don't recognize the handwriting at all. And, uh, I've discovered that it's actually a witch's spell book. So I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, if you find the witch's spell book, you know, the do's and don'ts. And uh, we'll see what's going on there, but we won't be too nosy, don't worry. We're not going to unleash any kind of evils, God willing, inshallah. That's step number one, you got to pray. Alright, now we're protected from all evil, because it's got, uh, you know, the occultic arts got nothing on, uh, on the Lord, man. And then we got this. This is a comic that I drew a while back. And it's such an auspicious occasion that I should find it today because I was drawing this when I completely, my mindset was totally on illustration. And, um, and I was just like, I was, I wanted to do illustration and that's why I did all these drawing videos and practicing drawing like eight to ten hours a day and stuff like that. And I came out with this comic that my friend wrote and I actually think it's really great, but it was so much work. There was way too much work for me, <laughs> you know, to like, and then when I looked at how much, um, they got paid and stuff. I'm gonna make sure. Uh, can you see and hear me? I'm out here in the nature. Let me see. And I'm trying to stream my face too. I gotta. I gotta make sure I look beautiful. Oh, come on. Just give yourself a kiss after you. Once you've. Uh, <laughs> Fixed your hair. It's a little life tip, life tip from uh, from Shams Nelson here at Pen and Blade. And at the end of this live stream, I'm going to change officially change the name of this channel to Pen and Blade. So pretty up. So you guys can see me, right? In the corner. <laughs> you can see this. All right. Oh wow. Okay. And look at me. I'm out in the edge of my property or area so it's nice and quiet and peaceful and beautiful so this is nice so I want to make this a weekly thing posting uh, doing a weekly live stream let's get to some world building I have a funny idea for fun stuff um where did my pen go I have no pen I have no blade this is a bad omen oh here it is that's a good omen all right, so let's see. Let's see here. So I was gonna, <laughs> so I was gonna design a world. Oops. Using 
using P. So the basic shape of the world we're working with here is going to be P. Oops, and let's make the and a little smaller. P. So well, yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. So this could be a peninsula down here. So I'll make like a mountain range maybe or something. And then uh, we have like a lake here. And they'll either no, I'll make this like a like a bay. And then another lake here. <laughs> Yo, fantasy fan, what's up? How you doing, dude? Good to see you. DM your first game ever last night. Oh, hallelujah! All right, actually, I'm gonna plug the company that I work for called Momstar because this the basis of the company is that the my boss Limu. I'll put the thing in the description in a minute. But my boss Limu, um, pretty much, you know the secret and the law of attraction and manifestation and all that stuff. Like when things are coming together and it's just the universe wants you to you know do something <laughs> or it's like have a helping you out so when i hear things like what the command tent said about dming his first game ever and then this like i said about finding this comic book and it's kind of like a reminder but it was not in like a bad way i don't know it just felt like it felt good it felt like yeah this is i don't know this is the next step god willing so i got a lot of lofty goals and ambitions and um the hybrid artist He's going to be helping me out, too. You should check out his channel. He's a pretty creative guy. And, yeah, man, we got some cool stuff going on. So, um, so I'm going to change the channel name tonight. And the command tent will be here to witness it and hopefully give his clerical blessings to it and your prayers and uh, are always appreciated and welcome. For real, you guys. I dig prayers. <laughs> You don't don't underestimate the prayer. If it doesn't, if you don't even believe in prayers, just pray for me. Just like it takes like three seconds. Just be like, I hope Chan does awesome. Thanks, God. And then, uh, and then just that's it. Just as a favor. It's it's not asking that much. It's just three seconds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, cool. I'm um, still trying to convince my friends to sit down for a campaign. I know that's like the hardest thing. I don't play as much D and D as I'd like to, and when I do, it's always with uh, it's always online. Because getting together in person can be tough and all that stuff. So, um, oh, I did that on the background. All right, that's cool, whatever. We're just having fun today. We're just relaxing. Maxing, relaxing, and ain't too taxing. Boom. Anybody know what that's from? <laughs> oh, I should watch that movie tonight. That would be fun, actually. I think that would, I think I'd enjoy that. I think that's my plan for the night after I finish up all the pen and blade things I need to do. So if you guys didn't catch the beginning, I'm going to be posting every single day. That's the plan. And if you have any questions or if you have any ideas, that's what I need. I need ideas for content for pen and blade. All right. I already got lots of ideas, but I want your ideas because, you know, you guys are going to be the one watching it. I mean, I'm going to watch my own videos probably once or twice. Not going to lie. <laughs> I do, I do, I do tend to entertain myself. I think that's one thing that makes me like, um, makes YouTube a good place for me. Cause it's just like, I'm hanging out with myself and I actually talk out loud for the videos that aren't allowed alive. It's like you're hanging with yourself, but you wouldn't talk out loud. And sometimes it's fun to talk. You know what? One day I'm going to pretend I'm making a YouTube video, but not just to talk out loud to myself. So I don't like how this is so uniform. This is not happening. Sometimes when you talk and draw at the same time, it's just like, meh. You know what I mean? Alright, I can't go back anymore. Yeah, the game was fun. <laughs> I'll have to read it like a weirdo. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the game was uh, for one buddy. Wait, yeah, the game was for my one buddy I could convince to play, but we had a ton of fun. That's awesome, dude. Um, when I was in Egypt, actually, luckily, I got two people who were into it. But if it was just one of them, I still would have played, and because uh, there's not a big community. So when I found some people who were like into it, they're like, "Yeah, what's that?" And then they were like totally into it. One of them was a total murder hobo, though, <laughs> which I liked though. He would just play like a half orc with the, with the two, because it was three point five. So he had the two, um, the double sided great axe or whatever, you know, just the most beastly weapon in the game. And uh, yeah, that's how we rolled, man. You know what I'm saying? That's it. 
so it's great even playing with one person or two people I think I played with my sister yeah I used to play with my sister a few times um, when we lived in Egypt and I was in high school because I really wanted to play I had the books on my computer and uh, you know I was just like and I think I bought some dice when I was in the United States or something visiting and so I got her to play and we played a pretty long campaign I think she got to level three or four as a ranger um, you know playing d and I wish I could remember the details of the campaign Ooh, something's coming back to me something about like a water I think there was like a flood that came into a into a town so there was a town and a great flood came and it like the water was up to your knees or ankles or whatever and there were all these like you know like creatures mer mer creatures taken over and she had to go and I don't know if there was a temple or yeah I think there was like a temple and they had like some ritual yeah yeah that's how you sound kind of fun I don't think I'm making that up completely let's see can I do this can I come behind like there's a little bay there touch behind the mountain or that does that look crazy looks kind of crazy no, it doesn't look right so wait, so tell me about, okay, Mr. Command 10, tell me about your campaign. I want to hear this. I love hearing, like, what stories people choose and decide to go with. Can you guys still all hear me and stuff like that? Okay, so let's put a lake here. I know it lags behind a, bit, a little bit, so. But I'm assuming that in a second you're going to hear that, and then you're going to start telling me about this. And um, I guess in the meantime, in the meantime, let's open up one of our uh, two surprises. So we got what? We got two surprises and one, um, and at the end, we're going to change the name to Pen and Blade. I got to remember to do all this stuff. So what do you guys, oh, well, you're already catching up on that. I shouldn't add another thing, but which one should we do first? Let's do, uh, let's do the creepy one first. Let's open up this witch's spell book. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim bismillahi rahman rahim I seek refuge from the accursed Satan in the name of God, the merciful, the beneficent. So you're going to say that before, you're going to say some kind of prayer for protection before you open it, and you're going to have faith that nothing can harm you. But you'll know, if you get a bad feeling that you shouldn't mess with something, you, I'm kind of making this up, you know, I don't think it's a dark spell book. I only re the reason I say is because look what, what's in here. And I'm not going to read anything personal. But, you know, you got some sacred stone, perpetual rebirth amulet, follow your dreams. This is, this is Wicca. This is light, light witchery, okay? This is no, there's nothing written in blood. You know what I'm saying? You don't see any dark sim symbolism. There's no, uh, it's not like locked or uh, protected by any kind of runes or anything like that. So it's probably just a diary. Okay, this says, what signs will I see when I find the right pattern few of something take stock of what you still do and focus on those things so one thing is if anything looks weird and suspicious say I shouldn't be reading this out loud before looking at it. it's like weird crazy words in here oh cool the command tent told me okay I'm gonna get back to this in two seconds so let's let me just finish this one thought is if there's some weird crazy words or something that's like that doesn't seem to make sense don't say it out loud you know what I'm saying? If you get a bad feeling, get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? You got to trust your intuition. That's number one. All right. We'll get back to the witches, the, the spell book, and see what's going on. I don't know what I read meant there, but God willing, it's all good. All right. Yeah, the game was okay. We started real basic to ease into. The PC was delivery coffee from his family, was delivering coffee from his family farm to an inn and to the local town. Okay, cool. So the idea is going to deliver coffee. Chill. Let's see what happens. The PC avoided a bar fight by choking out a thug after rolling a nat 20. Boom! That's how you know you were meant to play D&D. And actually, let me make sure, because I know if I point it down... See how dark I am? Sorry, you guys. If I do that, look. You can see me. I'm not this... Sorry. When I was in the CIA operative facilities, I saw some... The greys, and I saw the reptilians. The greys were stinky, and the reptilians were highly intelligent, and... So we're not going to do that. <laughs> Alright, so let's do it like that. That's cool if you can't see my head. Oh yeah, I was going to wear this like Rambo. Because I'm amazingly cool. So you guys let me know. If, if this is my new look. I don't know why they say like, hit one when this and this. So like, hit one if this is my new look. And I'll leave my mouth agape. Alright, sorry. 
Nat 20. When you roll a nat 20 on your first encounter, that's how you know that D&D, man, you were made to play D&D, God willing. You negotiated a good price for the family coffee, so he chokes out this thug. Boom. Easy peasy. Negotiated a good price for the family coffee and made friends with the barkeep. Baldo, that's a great name. Baldo, a retired dwarf warrior. All right, so, um, yeah, cool. Negotiated a good price. That's All right, so, so far, sounds chill. Sounds chill. Choked them out. Got a good price. Is that the whole venture? <laughs> I mean, that's cool if it is. Actually, it sounds kind of fun. Like, it's so, like, it's, like, it's too, it's, like, realistic. You know what I mean? Like, just, it's not too crazy, which I kind of like, actually. So where should this go? Hold on. How about this goes? Oh yeah, oh my gosh, I forgot I was, I totally zoned into this and just sp totally blinked about what, what was going on. Alright, the next day, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm glad there's a little more, we got goblins in here. The next day, headed to the town, got ambushed by goblins, goblins love coffee, that's a given, barely fought them off, and chose to go get to town instead of following their trail. Met with the watch captain and got hired to find goblin camp. Sounds cool, man. Choking out guys in the tavern, fighting off goblins, going to their camp. That's like, that's standard. That's a one D and D one hundred and one. I'm bringing this back up. What the? All right. You know, usually I respect people's privacy, but sometimes it's like interesting. Like this is pretty cool. So she's not, this is no dark witchcraft and stuff. This is more like metaphysical studies. So, um, so that's cool. We found a spell book by, this is literally, I would say, the closest thing in real life to finding a spell book. Where it has notes like this, and you're going to say, all right, so I know that these different notes, so now let's assuming this information is correct, um, if I wanted to harmonize my heart chakra, we're going to have, uh, Oh, she didn't do the color coding very great. I think it's, so, it looks like F. Yeah, green. That makes sense. So I could play my F note and harmonize my heart chakra. Boom. Wizard. Voids. I'm actually going to look in this pretty, pretty closely. This is, I don't think this is personal information as much as notes and, like, studies. So I don't feel too bad about going into this. R.L. Stein is mentioned here, interestingly. So, okay. Alright, cool. It's my first ever... F yeah, that's great, man. That's a great place to stop the session. It sounds like you got a, a bunch of stuff done. So, how did you enjoy DMing? This is one thing I wanted to ask you guys also. Like, what, do you have any struggles in your DMing experience? Because, uh, what's it called? I'm going to be making Dungeons & Dragons based videos. So, if there's a certain thing that I can help you guys out with, make a video, do some research, share with you my ideas. That would be, uh, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comments of this, uh, in the chat, and also in the comments of other things. We got Vedic. Look, so this is pretty interesting. I always like it when I find symbols that I do not understand. I don't know if I hope you can see that right around there. So Vedic Tropical. 23 degrees, 17 degrees. Does anyone know what all this is? This is probably astrology. I'm talking. Astrology is very deep uh, metaphysical science, I suppose. See, I don't see in Islam we're not supposed to go to a fortune teller. Now, I don't know. It says that only God knows the future, okay? And I believe that's true. But there's some interesting things about astrology when it comes to, like, your personality and stuff. Like, that stuff seems kind of strangely accurate. So I could see how... The non-future-telling aspects of it might be uh, quite valid. And the future-telling ones, maybe some people say, like, we can kind of, like, see the general direction you're going, but it can always change by this and that, you know? So, um, I think that's, like, that might be valid, but then it's, like, to think that someone can tell you 
without doubt what is going to happen in your future. Look at this. This goes to the very last page. I don't think I've ever seen a notebook. I guess I should return this to the person if I find their information here. But not before deciphering all the information and becoming a level 23 sorcerer. I don't want to... Ugh, I guess if I am going to be a 23 wizard. Because sorcerers... If I was a sorcerer, I'd just know this stuff intuitively. I was in, okay, how people prep their sessions and campaigns. That's interesting. Yeah, because I do have a kind of a system where I do just enough work that I hopefully am not going to like over prepare because people might just do something crazy and also but if I am prepared for different like outcomes and stuff like that but I'd have to distill it that would be a fun idea for a video thanks dude so I was born in Egypt my mom is from there my dad is a photographer um so he was living in Egypt working there when he met my mom and I was born there moved to California when I was four or three or four and then moved back to Egypt for high school and a year of college so that's kind of, and then I came back here after that um, in California, and I've been here ever since. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> I just had. <laughs> so this kind of looks like a nipple, and I'm gonna call this region the Devil's Teat. Um, because there's bad stuff goes down here, and this is the uh, the Lake of Sorrow. But I'm gonna take 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 that out because I want to draw the mountains. See the mountains are this whole thing should be surrounded by mountains where that ampersand is. Where are you from, dude? Where's everyone in the chat from? Actually, I'm really curious. Let me do a, little, a couple more of these. My first campaign didn't work out. I'm going to read it like, uh, I don't know what I'm imitating. You guys tell me you know what I'm parroting. My first campaign didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. Long story short, I decided to purposefully kill my character off, a thief, by having him freak out, drop his weapons. Cliffhanger Butcher Bay. Okay, so you are a World of Warcraft character. That's excellent, Graphicon. Oh, I know Graphicon. You said something on one of my... You commented something recently. What's up, bro? How you doing? Um, where's Butcher Bay, man? Is that... Um, is that... Uh, where... <laughs> that, that, that place where the goblins live in World of Warcraft. The jungly area. Ugh. It's a neutral town. Both Horde and Alliance can come there. New... Alright, New Jersey. Oh, my, uh, my aunt lives in New Jersey. Aunt, do, you, do you know Aunt Jennifer? Do you know an Aunt Jennifer? Or uh, her her kid's cousin, uh, Nick, Emily, and Patrick? Do you do? That would be awesome. <laughs> okay, so he dropped his weapons. He punched and punched a rather large monster in the face. The hilarious thing is, I actually survived the whole round of wailing on this thing and feared that my character would actually survive this. That would be great to have like a character who is trying to kill himself but he's just succeeds beyond beyond any <laughs> beyond any reason. Fortunately, my character was torn apart next round for <laughs> Okay wait I gotta do this in first person. I was punching a rather large monster in the face. The hilarious thing is I actually survived a round wailing on this thing and feared that I would actually survive this. Fortunately, my character was torn apart next round. And I left the campaign without any fuss. Hi. I'm FantasyFan011. And I'm a thief. Or I was a thief. You guys are going to see I have all these dating dating videos. Um, fantasy dating videos that I'm going <laughs> to... It doesn't even make sense when I say it. Anyways, I already bought the domain fantasyfinder.love, so don't even try to snatch that. It's going to be big. You guys, just wait and see. Oh. Good to see you, dude. Yankee. 
Wait, CT, CT. Or, uh, Connecticut. Connecticut Yankee here. Is that right? It's a joke. It's a trap. Butcher, it's a joke. I don't believe you, Graphicon. I actually believe you live there, and now you're, uh, you're, like, suspicious that I'm, or you're, you're, uh, uh, you're gonna get in trouble because I'm suspicious that you're actually a World of Warcraft character brought into the human world, and I actually know that this happens because I have a friend named Shaney Ward, and if you look her up, Shaney, S-H-A-N-I, and then space W-A-R-D, and her name is a character in World of Warcraft that kind of, like, I get the vibe that they could be the same person. It's just an innkeeper, like a random low level, like, I think she's high level, but like a random NPC. And so, it makes sense that she came from the World of Warcraft world into the human world. And it also makes sense that Graphicon also has done the, a similar thing. <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> the biggest supporter. Your powers have grown! My prowess is unmatched. Does anyone know what that's referencing? I'll do two more. My power grows. Um, I join the wild spirit. Oh, I don't want to forget to tell you what that's referencing. Yes, the eye shines that give are great and butchered. <laughs> you got me. All right, all right, good, good, good. I've been slowly figuring out more about the world I live in. And it's just about time for unveiling the comic thing. Look at how many comics leave this. These are still mint. Mint. Woo, highly sought after. These, I'm gonna keep these, I'm gonna sign them. And my ego's gonna grow with every <laughs> signature. I'm going to put them in a vacuum seam, controlled, temp oh, pressure sensitized, uh, temperature controlled environment with with the DNA retina scan lock. And then the smoke's going to come out when I close the door. You know what I mean. And then one day when Pen and Blade is worth billions, this will be worth trillions. That's it. But it's okay, we can take one out, because it was actually put in a mint, it was wrapped in a minty way, that you can just take one out. But we're going to do that one second, actually. What are those? Oh yeah, you didn't catch the beginning. So these are my comic. I drew this when I was, when I was convinced I was going to be an illustrator, and that was my path, and I was going full at it, drawing 10 to 12 hours a day, throughout, like, no, like, not like, more like, 8 to, 8 to 12, literally. I mean, because I wouldn't, I would sleep like six to eight hours, and sometimes I would just draw all freaking day, man, making famous, fantastic anatomy videos and stuff. But I think eight to ten was my average. Um, and then uh, I drew this with my friend. It was so much work, man. He wrote it. Here. You know what? I'll read it for you guys if you want me to. Let me know if you want me to. Look at that. Ooh. Thank you. Oh man, I have 13%. Here's the first the first pages. Alright, we'll get into that in a second. Might have to relocate soon. That's a buttload of drawing, I know, right? I was like, ba ba ba, like just and I made very strong improvements, but not quite as strong as I would have hoped. I think some things just come in time too. But um but no, no, I definitely like my anatomy. The reason I have and all the anatomy knowledge I have now is just hardcore study, man. Every part of the body, I broke it down. I made a video about it on my art curriculum thing, and I would watch, like, three or four really long videos. And I had a checklist. That was important. And that drove me. Like, I wanted to finish one thing a day, and it was a fair amount of work. I had to do draw 20s. Whew. Anyways, read it. All right, cool, cool. Read me a bedtime story. All right, that's legit, you guys. I will definitely do that. And um, I only have 13% battery left. So I guess I'll read that. And I also want to hear if you have any ideas, other ideas for pen and blade. And right before we run out of batteries, I'm going to dim the screen. Um, and I'll make this bigger so you guys can see it full. I'm going to... Can I just make this full like that? Did that make it full? Oh man, I look like a damn fool. Alright, look at this. 
I won't read this part. You can find it on my website. Well, actually, you know what? Welcome to the Omniverse. Here, paranoia reigns supreme. Nurbles are selling like hotcakes. And hotcakes are probably laced with mind-altering drugs. I'm trying to read it off the screen. That's why. Oh, there's this delay. Okay. Oh, no, I just didn't move the right hand. <laughs> I moved this hand because it's backwards. And I'm like, oh, there's a delay. All right. Um, let's move this over so I can make sure I see you guys. Doo, doo, doo. But you're seeing my screen, so the more big it is on my screen, whatever. Uh, this is too crazy. Strange Sales follows Talbot O'Brien, the definitive company man. He's got it all. The job, the toaster oven robo-wife, and this quarter, he's even sold a record number of boo frackets. Boo -boo -boo Boodoo frackets. Nice job, O'Brien. But as O'Brien's success multiplies, so does his suspicions that his life is an illusion, and soon it becomes impossible for O'Brien to ignore the truths of his world. Hanging out with a butt-naked messianic clone will do that to you. That's this guy. He doesn't make it into this first issue. He was going to be, like, very close into the second one. Alright. So here we go. They're called Nurbles. Aren't they cute? Nurbles. Alright, hold on. That's right, Nurbles, sir. All the focus groups agreed. Nurbles are the gift, or Nurbles are the gift of the season. Your kids will love them. No thanks. My kids are more into drugs and video games. <laughs> oh, but sir, drugs and video games don't nurble like Nurbles do. Nurbles are the nurbliest. See for yourself. And then he sniffs it over here. See? That's called a happy poo-poo fart. Inhaling it creates a sense of euphoria. Yes, I feel... nerblier. And then... Oh, this hand. You're such a good good. Then, of course, there is the nerbles nerble. It inserts, yourself into your, it inserts itself into your brain, and then you basically spend the afternoon tripping balls. I love the cute little nerbal on him. And trip balls he did. Give me all your nerblies. Excellent. Well done, O'Brien. <laughs> and then here are the ads. Is your nerbal staining your clothes? Ruining your carpet? Getting your blood everywhere? Then buy this nerbal cleanup. It looks like a gun, acts like a gun, is a gun, but no, it's not a gun. Point your, point at your nerbal, close your eyes, pull the trigger, and no more stains. Call now. All right, I gotta go plug this in. All right, we're going into, into command and combat, command and combat mode. We're on the move, guys. Stay frosty, everyone. Stay frosty. Are you still screaming? We got a combatant. We got an enemy. Oh, what? My phone's going off. Television? The television. I'm live streaming, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> hi, my mom says hi. Actually, I'm gonna. You're gonna see her in the, in the ten ways to use Bedouin's thing video. All right, I'm gonna turn off my alarm. Get some lights. Like this. All right, and then I'm gonna check the chat. I haven't been paying attention. Sorry, this was a code red. All right. All right. Let's see what you guys said. <laughs> Overworking is easy. It's true. <laughs> I guess I do like storytelling. Oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, Ooh. it's just gonna keep going. All right, I love me some nurbles, baby. Dude, nurbles, man. I gotta make merch. Dang. I wonder. I gotta talk to my friend, dude. Would you buy some nurble merch? Cause I probably would. I gotta. I got a gerbil for some nerbal. That's what it's gonna say. <laughs> Why does it look like, it's like? Looks like I live in a construction site right here. Straight up. All right, let's continue our little story. Or no, we're done with our story. Woo! There's some more ads though. 
Like you can too dim- timid to discipline your children, hire a Ligertron. We forget if it's part lion, part tiger, or part lion, part Tigertron. But do you know what? <laughs> but we do know they scare the shit out of kids. Call now. <laughs> it's also on shumsnelson.com if you go there and then click in the illustrations and then click into the strange sales. The whole thing's up there. You can check it out. <laughs> There's a lot of other little things written in the bottoms and the sides and all that stuff. Um, so Nurbles are FDA approved, but in the Omniverse, the FDA is owned by Omnicorp. It's uh, the ODA, Omnicorp Drug Drug Administration. <laughs> they and in the in Omniworld, in the Omniverse, foods are considered a type of drug. They just categorize, they recategorized all. All consumable items as drugs. <laughs> That's why there's uh, mind-altering drugs in the hotcakes. I don't know if you remember that. You guys got to pay attention. This lore, there's this lore is flawless. All right. So, um, so you guys are just seeing me, right? You're not seeing any of my screen. Oh, I forgot about that. That's good. See, right now you're seeing this crazy. Crazy. I'm trying to figure out how all this works so I can be more pro in the future. This crazy line of things, right? And then you're seeing a little bit of all that. And then you're just seeing me. <laughs> I'm enormous. Alright. Alright, wait. So I think all you need to see is me for now. It's the unfinished look that gives it the charm. Oh, thank you, thank you. Mama Shams, Mama Shams. Everyone says hi to Mama Shams. Mom! Mom, everyone says hi. Uh, all right, cool, cool. Shumception. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Today I was supposed to say um, why hello there, Shamses and Sham sh- Shamzesses. <laughs> Wait, what? That was you, Graphicon, right? I think that's a comment I was referring to before. So let's get a little bit of this going on. Wait, hold on. Should I do some more drawing? What else do we need to do? We did the comic. Oh, okay. If we did the comic, I think we've done enough with the witchcraft book. All right. I don't know if you guys have any questions about Pen and Blade, if you guys have any suggestions or topics or whatever. Oh, I was going to, so I need some filler content. I'm going to try to post every day. And that's, of course, to provide you guys with amazingly entertaining content to give you smiles and giggles and ideas to get you through work so you can just fan you can just think about all these crazy D &D ideas and so while you're typing away at work i know that's what i did (laughs) for three years back when i was working at a job i really didn't like um but um but yeah i want to post every day also because it's good for the google or the youtube algorithm and so I have these little videos that are pretty funny. I think they're pretty funny. I hope you guys will think they're funny. These uh, fantasyfinder.com dating dating uh, audio video things, ads. And so I was going to do a segment thinking of doing a segment called Ask Shams, where you could ask me whatever. Like, they can be crazy, silly questions, and I'll just record, like, a quick selfie video. And those will kind of be, like, raw and uncut and unfiltered so that I can have some... Uh, make some content like that more easily so that when because the edited videos you know take a couple hours to, to to put together and stuff like that how you cultivate happiness dang man you went straight up deep all right you know what i can't be picky and stuff <laughs> i hope i don't give you a joke answer so just to prove to you guys that i'm serious i'm gonna go right into the docs right here i'll make a new doc oh you can't see what i'm doing oops I'm going into the dock right there. And uh, 26,000 years from now, it's going to load. Just opening up a dock. Oops. Does it look like I'm looking? Wait, I'm losing the roll. Does it look like I'm looking over there? Oh, yeah, it does. That's awesome. See, I had to get good at this. I want to be a live stream master. So I'll be like, oh, look at that. Oops, see, I did it wrong again. Look at that, you guys. Wait, look at... I should be able to do this perfectly. And no up and down. Everything's backwards, man. Look at that, you guys. It's Google Docs. I hope you like Google Docs. Because I love Google Docs. Imagine, like, t- starting tomorrow, all my videos are exactly like that. <laughs> Today, I'm going to talk about Google Docs. You're going to love you some Google Docs. Why don't you get your... <laughs> Alright, I don't know what's wrong with me. I think after I've been on... 
uh, this live stream for a little too long, just talking, talking, talking constantly. I start to get a little lightheaded, and then I start to lose. And then I just start to go insane. So where are you guys? Where are you guys at, homies? You're in one of these tabs. I think I'm using like every ounce of bandwidth. Oh my gosh, don't tell me I lost the live chat. Oh no, the stream is orange. See, this isn't as good. Are you guys seeing me clearly? Maybe looks at other RPG systems? Yeah, please, dude, give me some suggestions. Actually, if you can just write them right now, I'm just making a Google Doc and I'm going to copy paste your, your suggestions. I'm going to try to get into a spot where the live stream is a little bit more, more live. See, it's good right here. Look at that. Look at that. With my bandana man those <laughs> what's up bro no man you know i'm gonna give you all right i'm gonna give you a workout secret right now but you should do an ask shams you should ask me my workout secrets i'll give you the full the full uh the full story but this this is key to any anybody's workout routine it has to be a real one it can't be a practice one it can't be a wooden boken because I practiced with those kind of things for a long time and um, the weight and all that stuff like to wield a sword like this you can't fake it you know what I'm saying like you can't you can't just go technique all right <laughs> you gotta you gotta have strength and I'm still like I got this a couple months ago and I'm still like okay I know I think I've kind of I've, I've gotten a good a solid cut if you know what I, you'll know what I mean if you've read the book of five rings difference between a slash and a cut. If you're interested in that, I'll do an Ask Shams. But I think I've dis I think I've, I've experienced the cut. But the, the strength it takes and stuff, so when you cut, oh, I shouldn't get into this right now, but the elbow's out so that you can utilize your back muscles, man, like really like flaring them out. And it, I, I can't do more than a few of those with good form without starting to get winded and tired and all that stuff. So it's... Uh, so that's what kind of that and also secret number two is buy yourself a bow that you cannot draw. <laughs> this apparently I forgot what I thought I ordered a 45 50 pounder. Apparently either they sent me the wrong one or I was just like you know what if I'm too weak then I'll get stronger. It'll be good motivation. It's like a 75 pound draw bow and I could barely draw it when I first got it. I couldn't even really string it properly. Um, for a few, for like the week or, you know, and I was just like, all right, time to start doing some pull-ups and stuff because I need to get my muscles, my back muscles strong enough to draw this bow so I can use it. So basically become a medieval warrior, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so let me, let me, okay. Let me put the ask Shams things, stuff like that. Musashi baby. He's, this is where, right here. So everyone knows the book of five rings right here. We got the Dokodo. He wrote this right before he died. And it is the way, doko, I guess, is walking alone and do is way. So it's the way of walking alone. And number one is accept everything just the way it is. And number two, do not seek pleasure for its own sake. I had these almost memorized for a second. Do not under any, do not under any, do not under any circumstances rely on a partial feeling. That's an interesting one. So hold on. So let me put this. How do you cultivate happiness? That's Jimmy. Let me put Jimmy there. I gotta give you guys a shout out when I do my Ask Shams things. Give you guys a quick shout out. Where is it? Shamsers, Shamsters and Shamstresses. All right. Let me just copy paste that. I'm gonna assume that's a question. <laughs> and I'm gonna answer it. Put a question mark after that. All right, Graphicon, Shamsters and Shamstresses. Actually, that sounds really cool. When I said it, it sounded ridiculous. All right, all right, all right. Hold up. And let me know if I missed anything. So our Nurbles FDA approved. I should have done that as an Ask Shams. Dang, that was easy content. Throw that in there. It will become Pen and Blade. At the end of this video, I'm changing the channel name to Pen and Blade live on this stream. Jimmy. Jimmy something. What's your last name? Roche, Ro Roche. All right, because it's French, so you don't pronounce like the last seven letters. 
<laughs> Everyone in my family speaks some French. Actually, pretty decent French, most of them, except for me. My dad and mom and sister. Let me look at other RPG systems. Okay, let me actually just do that. Boom. And then, if you don't want to let me know your sis your uh, the systems you're thinking right now, one thing is, oops, oh man, let me go forward. All right. <laughs> I just keep seeing the shamsters and shamstresses. Yo, so by the way, I don't think I'm starting a new channel. I'm starting a micronation. <laughs> But it's a, actually, no, it's not a micro nation, it's a cyber nation. There's nothing micro about this. Let's become the largest nation on earth, and then I don't know, we'll just I will just turn the world into a into it'll be mandatory to LARP at all times. <laughs> Except in the privacy of your own home. I don't want to be like some crazy dictator, you know, like wah. No. You can do whatever you want in the privacy of your own home. But if you're in public, you have to LARP one hundred percent of the time. Or you will have your head cut off by an actual broadsword. <laughs> So we got go cut something. Oh yeah, all right. If you want, do you want that to be one of your questions? I'm gonna make that. I'm just gonna assume that's a question. So for today's question, an Astrom segment segment might go something like this. Why, hello there. This is Shops. It, um, and Jimmy uh, Roche asked me, and last week Jimmy Roche asked me, go cut something. So let's go ahead, and, let's go cut something, and then I'll find maybe I'll like I'll cut my dog in half. Uh, Rochette, 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 or oh, it looks like you're saying Rochette, but that like a like a like an Italian kind of way maybe. Real Larper Antifa, the Sham way. <laughs> Basic fantasy. Yeah, okay, I've seen that, and I wanted to be a big fan, but then when I looked into it, for some reason, oh, because I saw there were restrictions on the um the classes and stuff like that okay let me put that in here though that would be a good one to check out there were restrictions on like dwarves couldn't could only be these classes and elves can only be these classes which you know okay i could talk about that because i have mixed feelings and i can see the the reasons for it and why why it'll uh why it would increase or why it would be a good thing what could be all right all right all right Cut off with broadsword, not even the immortals from Highlander would be safe. Precisely, man. That's what that's it. The pen and blade cyber nation. Uh we roll hard. We roll we we roll hard up on these fools with our broadswords and our staffs. That's it. Nice calendar, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh alright, cool, cool. So here's my question. How do I fully complete a drawing? Oh, interesting. You know what? I'm still going to have drawing, uh, what's it called? Drawing content and stuff like that. And you know what? This is something I struggle with, too. I'll throw it in there. We'll see. If some kind of, if something comes to mind that is, uh... Wait, where did my thing about the fantasy thing go? Huh, I like that. There it is. All right, wait, wait, wait. Basic fantasy, but... Yep. Yeah, man. We are eight strong. Dude, that's all you need for, um, you know, an elite task force. And an elite fantasy task force is what D&D &D is based on. Eight of us? That's strong, man. What are we, level 16, 17 on average, probably? So, pretty sure we could take down a Tarask or whatever those things are called, man. Dude. Our odds are like, uh... It's like when it's like in that scene where they're in the Millennium Falcon and he's like, "The odds of survival are blah 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 blah." That's our enemies. They're <laughs> our enemies are rolling up on the eight of us like, "Yeah, yeah." And then the guy's like, "Our odds of survival are do 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 to to what? One billion six hundred seventy-five." And the guy's like, "Never tell me the odds." And they're like, "Uh, what's it called? Jump cut?" They're just all dead, and we're just like, "Ah, yes, yes." Red and black. Except we uppercut people off of the <laughs> into into wells and stuff, into watering holes. 
<laughs> it's like when Gandalf is charging. As powerful as an old wizard. I think that's a proverb, as powerful as an old wizard. That's a great proverb. <laughs> Should be. The non-believers, man. We should pray for them. And then we should crush them. <laughs> okay, cool. So it's clear that I'm kind of running out of... I don't, I don't have much. I don't have much else, man. I showed you the spell book. I showed you my my comic, and um, I think it's time to change the name, the pen and blade, the pen and blade. We could do a little more world building, but I don't know. It's just, I don't know, I'm too excited, <laughs> too excited to world build right now. Low we'll pack a natural twenties, not twenties. We should have like long swords, but like in the hilt. Where is my? Uh... Oh, here. That'd be sick right now to have a uh, right here in the hilt. Just a, a 20, you know, a D20, but with a 20 up. So then when you just go like, you pommel smash them. There's no room here for a pommel smash. When you get pommel smash in the face, you're just like, no, not 20. Uh. By the way, if you guys are looking for sparring swords, these are excellent. I should do this in case that falls off because it fell off my other one. Century, there's the number. I don't work for them or anything uh, yet. But this is an excellent because look how the end is bendy. So when you, you know, you can hit yourself. And it, eh, you, can, you can hurt yourself a little bit. Just stingy, but not like anything serious. And this part, though, is hard. See? So that's the part you block with traditionally. So, um, so it's a pretty nice it's a pretty nice sparring weapon. I got two of these. It's definitely the best one I've used. And that's what this I've trained with this Kenjitsu master. And uh, that's what he used when we were when we were practicing and sparring and stuff like that. But then when I got a real sword, I was like, dang, using that did not prepare me at all in the least for wielding a proper Katana, man. There's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of aspects. I was building muscles and they like in 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 their inner muscles and lower back muscles. Weird places you get muscles when you start training properly with a real sword. The sword of twenty. Oh, dude. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna make a whole video about the sword of twenty or something. <laughs> this is it. This is how PewDiePie does it. He just steal. He's always saying he just steals content from his uh, from his viewers and stuff. So, thank you. <laughs> I think I think this means I'm definitely on the right direction. Oh, uh, did you design pen and blade channel design banner? Yeah, did you see it on the channel? Hold on, let me show you guys. Oh, Graphicon. All right, I'm gonna jet tune soon, anyways. But peace out, dude. It was good to see you here. And I'm gonna do this every Sunday, God willing. You know, if uh, if all is well and I'm in good health and all that good stuff. So should chill every Sunday. That would be really cool. And we'll see what it evolves into. I don't know. I guess world building could could be in the real world world building the 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 cyber nation of um of pen and blade and then oh one day i would be happy to buy a property if you guys want to come live out there i'll give you guys passports and stuff so we could create a proper micro nation there's this vice documentary on micro nations watch it be inspired and then uh you know just hit me up in the comments and let me know your ideas of how we should we should do this and what what elements are most important for starting our micro nations all right, and then what position you see yourself uh, holding, whether that be political, military, you know, uh, we need a lot. Of, we're gonna need a lot of people to manage this new, um, this new kingdom, really. The lucky seven. <laughs> That's sick. Eight, seven. No, <laughs> they are not eight strong. No, we're still eight strong, man. Graphicon, bro. He's he's uh. He's still he's still he's still here in spirit, man. You gotta believe that, you know. You guys don't even understand. The sword of 20, man. I gotta put that here. That's freaking cool. You know what? Okay, so I wanna do merch at some point. <laughs> do some crazy D&D type shirts and stuff like that. So the sword of 20 is sick, but also I wanna actually, what the, the best merch ever would be an actual sword, like a proper sword with the, like just make the real sword of 20. And it would actually be like a battle ready sword. None of this full, you know, it's gonna be full tang. You can cut stuff. You could attack stuff with it. It'd be all right. It's not gonna. It's not brittle. It'll be properly forged with layers. Got the flexibility and everything. It might cost a thousand, a couple thousand bucks though. But I don't know what to tell you, man. 
you kill a lot of you kill a lot of orcs with that. You can make your money back quick. And lucky seven, we're gonna do live in a real LARP, exactly. <laughs> I want a pen that resemble why can't I scroll it? Resembles a blade. I'm trying to imagine that. That's so sick, man. But then <laughs> It's actually sharp, so it cuts you right here. <laughs> Every time you write, you just ah, ah. And everyone's like, "Why is he doing that?" And there's just blood dripping on your paper. And you're just like, it makes you the pen that makes you a warrior. <laughs> the pen, the pen of barbarians, the sword of twenty. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Next level merch, dude. There's no, not even the next level. See, it's the level after that. We're just going to skip the next level. Like, I know that's usually the way you're going to go. We're probably not going to be appreciated in our time. And we're probably going to waste a lot of time and money. And we might even end up on one of those cult shows. But it's all because we're just misunderstood, you guys. We're not, we're not a real cult. We're just misunderstood and ahead of our time. We're on the, the level after next. You know, like Friday after next, the level after next. We're going to start on that one. We're not doing next Friday. We're going to start on the Friday after next. We're going to keep going. Done. Uber level. Call it what you want. <laughs> For now. Until we have a copyright, copywritten, trademarked, um, you know, words for everything. <laughs> Alright. That would be sick. An old style fountain pen that looks like a sword. Oh my gosh. It sounds like the most inconvenient thing ever. Though. Oh, and the blood drips into the fountain. The blood collects in the, in the, what's the groove of the blade called? Oh, I used to know this. The, um, oh man, I watch like a whole show by like Skaldrim or like, uh, what's it called? One of those guys, uh, about it. <laughs> Infinity level, insanity level. <laughs> blood. Oh yeah, so then the, the blood comes, grows into that groove, which apparently I don't think is used for, for collecting blood at all. It's just to make the sword lighter and stuff like that, and sometimes just decorative. And then it goes into the thing you write with your blood. That's great. All right. The Fuller. Thank you, dude. The Fuller. What an interesting name. It seems like the opposite. Like, it's not full. It's, it's empty. I think they made that point before. But I guess that's why I don't remember it. But now I'll try to remember it. The Fuller. Yes, sir. Priceless level. Um, what would I call it? I don't know. Maybe just, like, SSJ4. <laughs> because now SSJ4 is in canon. So it's even less attainable. <laughs> That's SSJ4 merch. I don't know if you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans. Okay, cool. So we got this. So we got to do it, you guys. We got to do it. This is kind of crazy, man. This is kind of... Oh, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm actually pretty excited. Look at all this. Look at all this, you guys. Did you see this? Awesome. So you can still see me even if I don't put this up here. Yes, you should. Do, I should be floating there, looking like a fool with my bandana. Perfect. All right, look at that. Look, that's what it looks like. What? I thought I changed the. Oh, I changed it. I swear I changed it. You guys. Oh no, did I not change it? Hold up. Why do I have two live dashboards? That might not be good. I think I'm gonna close one. Why is my health low? Orange health. It's like an RPG. All right, I closed one. Can you see me? Can you see me? Does this work better now? Alright. Alright, I can unplug it. I can unplug it. We got 24%. We're going back to our spot. I want to be out in the beautiful outdoors in the wilderness. Sakartin has decided to join us. The mystical Sphinx. What's up, Sakartin? Say hi. Say, Meow, Sakartin. Sakartin. Yeah, he's too cool for us. Actually, his name is Socrates, supposedly, by the way. Okay, cool. So what do we got here? What are we going to do? We're going here. Live stream health is still orange. It's okay, whatever. This is the way we got to roll. Customized channel. Where is it? The creator studio. Wait, let me check the chat. Make sure no one's like, no, don't do it. It's a bomb. It's a trap. We are nine strong. We are ten strong. We are powerful. We are invincible warriors. 
the wolf, the wolf dog returns from the wild. Yes, we are twelve strong. With our creatures by our sides, the pen of Fuller. Oh, dang! This is sick. This is sick. This is sick. I'm gonna assume that's a question. <laughs> I like how Astroms is going to have no questions in their segments. Oops, that's secret. You know, guys are not privy to that information. Oh, oops, oops. All right, just do that for now. I'm going to order. Okay, 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 okay. You guys aren't privy for any of this. Oh, no. Look, this dog came. He always visits from next door, and then they try to get him back. You guys see him? Oh, there he goes. Oh, so many creatures, bro. It's good, it's good. Creatures are good. Okay. I think I'm gonna need to go creator studio, baby. Where are you guys at? Let me see what's going on. Artistic paradox. Greetings to you, my friend. You've just you made it here for a historic occasion. I can't keep track of tabs apparently. Advanced. You see, this is advanced. <laughs> I know I'm being a little dramatic, but I'm also not being dramatic at all. No. You'll look back at this moment and say, how did, how did the totalitarian empire that conquered the world start with such humble beginnings? Done. Upload a photo. Look, that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm thugged out. Don't live the thug life, you guys. Oh, this is not... Look away. Everyone, close your eyes. You're not privy to this information. Where is it? Version 2. I think that's it. Oh, no, 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 I want to be right here next to the spinning dot. Am I there? Oh, by the way, the earlier reference was from Majesty, the Fantasy Kingdom Sim. You guys, that's is one of the best games ever created. Play it now, it'll hold up. Don't play Majesty 2. Play the first one. And the other one was a reference from uh, World of Warcraft. Oh, did it work? Did it work? Why didn't it work? Why didn't it work? Oh my gosh, upload photo. What is going on here? Sometimes you will encounter challenges, my friend. And you must, you must have strength and courage and all that stuff. Did it change? Okay, it might take a minute to change. This one's taking forever. Maybe I can't do it while I'm live streaming. Holy Shops Empire. Alright, I don't want to have any kind of... I don't want to claim any kind of uh, divine whatever because that just wouldn't be sincere. <laughs> so let's... let's we won't... And, 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 and the empire is not about me. It's a pen and blade empire. And... The others will succeed me, and sure, we'll have some evil, tyrannical emperors. You know what I mean? It's going to happen. Look at any empire. They're the good ones, there's the bad ones. I'm going to be amazing. Uh, they're going to call me Shams the Great, probably. You know? But not Holy Shams. No, no. I mean, I'd like to uh, do a lot of good, you know, uh, things for theological reasons. But, but you got to draw the line, because you never want to be worshipped. That's going to mess up everything. So, Shams the Great is cool, whatever. <laughs> and then, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a couple... Oh, corporate overlords. No, no corporations. I don't know how we'll do that, but we're just going to... We'll just not do that. It sounds too evil. We'll call them guilds. And then we'll crush them. <laughs> I've always been fond of the screaming sword. What does that mean, dude? What is the screaming sword? Is that a question? I'm just going to copy-paste everything and decide what's a question later. 
Google's trying to halt the birth of the empire. You know, they were supposed to, they had the slogan, don't be evil, but then when they re, uh, reorganized their corporate structure, so that was literally the slogan of Google, don't be evil. And I think if a company has to be reminded not to be evil, it means that it's probably on a slippery slope to begin with, or that like the idea of being evil is on the forefront of their mind, which makes me very suspicious. So that aside, they removed that slogan when they restructured their company. Now they're under this parent company, Alphabet Inc., apparently. I have 11% left. Let's see. Did this change? Did this change? Dude. Okay. All right, look. We're doing all right. Let's refresh this page. Okay. Pen and Blade. We got that. All right, first off, let's see if the cover. We can change the cover. I changed it on the channel, but... Um, I don't know if anyone goes on these Google Plus things anyways. Oh yeah, I forgot my, my thing is just like obnoxiously right there in the middle of the screen. It's cool that I can move it around and stuff. Ooh, that looks hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, come on. Oh, it's a Photoshop document. I'm such a fool. Okay, okay, I gotta find final. Karusheno. Karusnema. We shall conquer you too. All right, apparently it's going to take a few minutes. How anticlimactic. Low battery. <sighs> I think it is time. Oops, not switch account. Pen and blade. Oh, oh, it says it right there. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's so hot right now. That Hansel. That pen and blade. It's so hot right now. That pen and blade. Wait, how do I point to it? This way. Beautiful. Am I doing it right? Am I? Let me know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> All right. No worshiping, you guys. It's crazy. No paganism allowed in the in the empire of pen and blade. That's one of our our strict rules. No paganism. Only only. Well, you can like larping paganism just for the sake of of theater and stuff is quite fine, unfortunately. But that's just a reality. But no real paganism. That stuff's crazy. Very bad. Very bad. <laughs> Switch from the top chat to the live chat. What do you mean? Oh my gosh. What did that do? Thanks, artistic paradox. That there is intent. Google is... Google switched alignment. <laughs> oh god. Oh my gosh. Here, let me change this. Forging pen and blade. Our path is set. Our enemy clear. Google. <laughs> That's the most important thing people need to know when if they're gonna watch this live stream later. Okay, I made it live chat. Did that fix it? For that load of nothing, for what? What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? The screaming sword, a magic sword that screams whenever it's in can <laughs> Alright. Are they going to steal that idea? Actually, yeah, I'm going to put that in my uh, uh, seven rad ideas for magic swords. I've got spears and shields, but I haven't done the swords episode yet, so that's perfect. I'm going to put that as one of the ideas, and I'll give you a shout out, bro. Oh, our live stream is healthy, but we only have 5% left. That's okay. Ah, uh, as much as I'm enjoying hanging with you guys, I think I'm gonna have to call it, call it an evening, and prepare for the first uploads for tomorrow. I'm gonna have an upload every day this week, and tomorrow and after tomorrow should be fun videos. Goku power. <laughs> I'm gonna put that. You know what? That's an Ask Shams question. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm not feeling it right now. I just don't want to get up and all that, all that business. All my all my questions are gonna be from Jimmy. Maybe I'll do a Jimmy Jimmy um, Rochette. Make sure is that right, Rochette? Uh, a special episode, and I'll answer all your questions in one because a power up would go very nicely with cutting stuff up. 
So, um, where are we at? There we are. <laughs> All right, you guys. Is there anything else to uh, that we sh that we'd like to discuss or um, touch upon with our five percent battery left? Let me know. Let me know what you think of my headband, so I know if I should wear it next time. Does PMB have a Twitter yet? You know what? I'm going to create a Twitter. Actually, I'm actually getting help from um, the hybrid artist, and I think he's going to help me out with that. Um, so, yeah, do you know much about Twitter? Like, how to use it and stuff like that? I'm going to, yeah. I want to try to, oh, so one thing you guys can help me out with, actually, is I'm going to look for, like, blogs and stuff that have D&D &D content. So, if you see my, once you see my videos, if you know, like, somewhere you think that it would it would be great to, like, someone who'd want to post it on their Twitter or on their a blog or anything like that any social media let me know about it so I can send them a quick email because that kind of exposure could be huge and if we can grow this channel we can do really cool stuff like make with supplement books and I actually have a really fun idea for a tabletop RPG system like I want to make one that's focused on two things being no, three things being fun being creative and being streamlined so you don't have to be bogged down by all the rules and get through a lot of adventures quickly and I even kind of almost want to have like a Pokemon element to it where you have these companions and I have an idea for a mechanic where you roll a D6 and they have six moves that the companion can do. You can't control the companion. He does one of the six moves and then you can upgrade the companion by changing one of the moves. So at first, like three of those moves will do nothing and one will be, two of them will be a tackle and one of them will be a defensive or something. And then you'll get a fire blast and you can put that as number two. So now, you know, like I think that would be fairly fun. Um... But anyways, yeah, lots of good D&D &D conversation on Twitter. I know, right? I'm just terrible at the Twitter thing. What's up, Khalil? Um, yeah, you're a little late, but you're just on time at the same time. And um, I think that's a beautiful thing, just like a wizard. <laughs> All right, cool. So the, a chibi one. What's, draw one character with the pen blade. Oh, that's not a bad idea, actually. Good bad man, <laughs> wherever you wanted to, done. That's all I need. I just need one seal of approval. I don't care about what anybody says, what everyone else says. I care specifically what artist paradox has to say about my headbands. Anyone else can go and lick a toad. Oops, I keep showing you information you're not privy to. It's almost like I'm doing it on purpose to entice you. <laughs> I wish I was that devious. Dang, I'm like, all right, all right, you guys. I can't do it. I can't say goodbye. I'm just too excited. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at it. Wait, let me make sure I'm doing it right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Let's go down here. That's it. That's it. Look, we're live right now. I'm pointing at it. <laughs> Somewhere around here. Oh, man. I'm actually getting better at this already. And definitely don't check out the website. Whatever you do, I implore you not to go to planeandblade.com. If you go there... <laughs> I just told you not. Don't go to penandblade.com. That's it. Aside from that, um, I like how I'm checking my notifications right there. <laughs> Aside from that, I hope this changes soon. Look at this. This is the. This is rare. This is like a Bigfoot sighting right here. Are you seeing that right there? One, two, one, two, one, two. I hope I did that right. I can't wait to watch this and see how close I got. All right, you guys. Important question again. Spell sword. Or sword, sir. Oh, I always liked spell sword. I've never even heard sword, sir. It's not okay. Oh, I've said too much. That's an ask shams, baby. That that is a premium ask shams. Those are the kind of ask shams questions I should, that would actually make sense for this channel. Actually, some of the other ones you guys have mentioned were were good too. But yeah, in 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 my comments in this, and uh, if you come up with anything else, like leave it in a comment in this or any other video. Just and then. Um, yeah, man, that would be great. That would be really helpful. And hopefully it will be entertaining. And if it sucks, then just let me know in the comments. Be like, yo, Ask Shams is the latest segment I've ever seen in my life. Can we please discontinue it? And I'll say, of course, kind sir. Or maybe I'll say, like, no, I enjoy watching you suffer. But either way, I'm open to hearing feedback. <laughs> you like streaming you didn't even know it's true, dude. Actually, this is really quite fun. Calm down. <laughs> See ya. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to do this as an Ask Shams. All right, I'm gonna do this as an Ask Shams. Wait, where's your screen name? Why didn't they get there? And, uh, <laughs> no, none of this. That's paganism. Artistic paradox, shame on you. I don't wanna hear any of your pagan, uh, pagan banter or whatever it is, your madness. 
There's none of this claims of divinity. We're going back to the medieval ages. That's why it's pen and blade, okay? We're going to burn people at the stake and stuff. I know it's kind of frowned upon these days, but it's one of the best ways to dispose of witches. You just you just can't become corrupt and burn the wrong people at the stake. You got to do your research. <sighs> Sorry. It stresses me out sometimes. <laughs> All right, we're going to let this stream die. Can Shams ask Shams? Yeah, I was actually going to do my own sh Ask Shams because no one gave me uh, suggestions. You jerks. <laughs> I called you out straight up. I asked you on the other video and not one person gave me an Ask Shams comment, you crazies. Man, I'm going to assume that's an Ask Shams. We're going to ask him to answer that in one of my videos. Alright? Actually, I didn't pretend I didn't answer that here. And only, yeah, Shamsception. What is Shamsception? That's a great Ask Shams. Maybe. Might not be a good one. I might not use that. <laughs> All right, you guys. I don't know which sign off to use. Nope. I got to use the new one. I like saying God bless, though. I feel like that's maybe one of the reasons this channel has been blessed. Because we got peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone. And I want to tell you guys, you got to stay fantastic. I don't know if you realize that, but I'm serious. And I do mean peace, and I do mean God bless. I mean it all. But when I say, keep your sword hand strong, <laughs> and your pen arm swift, my friend, I say it, it's, well, I say it with a small amount of seriousness, but with a lot of, with a lot of gigglosity. <laughs> Consume flesh? Yeah, that's frowned upon, but we do it, <laughs> yeah, wait, no, we consume flesh like animals and stuff, yeah, eat animals, that's fine, do your thing. Whoa! Whoa, 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 No, that's witchcraft right there. I'm not answering that question. Sorry. It's too relevant as well. Far too relevant. Look at this nerd right here. Look at this guy, cutie. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be here. I don't know who you are. Here's one. Warlock or sorcerer. Easy. Stay tuned. <laughs> I got CEO confidence, baby. <laughs> All right, we got a troll. We got a troll. AP, AP is our uh, home homegrown troll. He's our local troll. We love him. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like in Silicon Valley. Y yes, I'm a troll, but I'm your troll. <laughs> Just play those sick beats at the, to the end of the video, man. All right, let's do it. Let's sign off with a sick beat. Let's sign off with a sick beat. That's perfect. I knew something was missing. It was just too anticlimactic not to uh, not to use this. Oh, I think it's still in the Fantastic Anatomy folder. Can you believe that? Have you guys ever seen a slime hog? That's pretty cool. If you want to know what that is, ask me in my thingy. Do an Ask Shams. Do an Ask Shams. You gotta know these things. Don't you want to know what my favorite animal is? What's wrong with you guys? Where is it? Tadasi? Was that it? There's a Fantastic Anatomy theme song, you guys. <sighs> Alright. No, quit this. Force quit that. I hate I need to I need to change the default. <sighs> Thanks, Skeletor. Alright, you guys. This has been way, way, way too fun. And um, I'm looking forward to next Sunday. I'm gonna stream next Sunday too. But until next time, you know, keep your sword hands. Wait, no, you know what? Yeah. Keep your sword hands strong and your pen arm swift, my friends. Oops. You're not supposed to see that. I'm supposed to be gone by now. Ban me first. Oh, yeah. That'll be a good one. Here, let's. I'm going to put that in my. Hold on, I'm trying to stop this. Usually that works. I'll do this theme song again. It's bumping. Thank you, Todd Preston. Thank you, Todd Preston. Until next time. Yes, my friends. All right, all right. Let's do this again. Peace, God bless. Stay fantastic, everyone. Let's try. Let's try. I'll try a mix up. Godspeed, adventurers. May y'all. I hope that everything's awesome and cool and great. I can't even find OBS. It's actually like frozen. I think I'm just gonna force quit it. But uh, 
Until next time, my friends, keep your sword hand strong and your pen arm swift. Oh,